online, just as they did prior to the January 6 attack, Trump supporters took to the internet to organize and document their desire and plans for future violence at President Biden's inauguration. And indeed, in the days shortly after the attack, several posters on extremist social media websites made further plans for violence. They posted, quote, many of us will return on January 19, 2021 carrying our weapons in support of our nation's resolve, to which the world will never forget. We will come in numbers. No standing army or police agency can match. Quote, we took the building once and we can take it again. Other users, eager to participate in additional attacks, confirmed that they were waiting on President Trump's instructions about what to do next. Referring to a future planned attack, a user on the online platform known as Gab posted, quote, I'd like to come do this, but want to know, does our president want us there? Awaiting instructions. In fact, in the days leading up to the inauguration, many potentially in attempt to carry out the plots that I just previewed were arrested in Washington, D.C., including on serious weapons charges. One of those men was Cooey Griffin, the founder of Cowboys for Trump, who took part in the Capitol attack and was also arrested on January 17th. Here's what he said for his, about his plans for violence. You know, you want to say that that was a, a mob? You want to say that was a violence? No, sir. No, ma'am. No, we could have a Second Amendment rally on those same steps that we had that rally yesterday. You know, and if we do, then it's going to be a sad day because there's going to be blood running out of that building. But at the end of the day, you mark my word, we will plant our flag on the desk of Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. Blood running out of the building. This building. The Capitol. Where all of us are right now. Now, the name Cooey Griffin may sound familiar because he previously faced controversy for a May 2020 video where he said, quote, the only good Democrat is a dead Democrat. Hear it from him yourself. Where I've come to the conclusion that the only good Democrat is a dead Democrat. <laughs> Now, when he said this, President Trump actually retweeted Griffin and thanked him for that sentiment. When Donald Trump retweeted this, he was no stranger to Griffin. In fact, in March 2019, over a year earlier, Griffin and Trump had spoken on the phone for nearly 30 minutes. President Trump's conduct, without a doubt, made it clear that he supported Griffin. In fact, Griffin even said so himself. As Griffin later said about President Trump retweeting his inflammatory comment about the dead Democrats, quote, it really means a lot to me because I know the President of the United States has my back. Remember, this is a man who was here on January 6th, who was arrested after threatening to come back here to make blood come running out of this building. Threats like Griffin's have triggered a deployment of forces, the likes of which we have never seen. There were approximately 25,000 National Guard troops brought in from around the country to protect DC leading up to and on Inauguration Day. As you know, many of those troops are still here. Take a look at that. These were scenes that played out all over the country. Five days following the siege on the Capitol, on January 11, 2021, the FBI warned that, quote, Armed protests are being planned at all 50 state capitals from 16 January through at least 20 January and at the U.S. Capitol from 17 January through 20 January. As a result, 
At least 21 states activated their National Guards in preparation for potential attacks. President Trump's incitement has reverberated around the country, prompting massive law enforcement mobilization in several state capitals, including Washington, Illinois, Michigan, and Georgia. Look at these photos. This is what Donald Trump has done to America. This massive deployment of law enforcement has cost the taxpayers dearly. The National Guard deployment to DC alone is expected to cost at least $480 million. The bills are already also racking up in the states. North Carolina, South Carolina, Pennsylvania, Utah, and Wisconsin have each spent about a half a million dollars to safeguard their capitals in the run-up to the inauguration. Ohio spent $1.2 million over the same two-week period. And remember, this is at a time when state budgets are already suffering under the weight of the pandemic. Our brave service members showed up. Thanks to their dedication and their vigilance, the inauguration and the days leading up to it mercifully proceeded without incident. In fact, after news broke of law enforcement's preparedness for further attacks, leaders of the Proud Boys, the Three Percenters Militia, the organizers of the Million MAGA March, they all now told their followers to avoid protests up to or leading up to the inauguration for fear that law enforcement would crush them and arrest rioters who showed up. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.